Well, hello, pray and share warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I am doing awesome. Of course, it doesn't seem like I'm ready yet. Give me a second. Get everything lined up. Okay. Well, I hope you had an awesome Tuesday. Tomorrow's already Wednesday. Our youth go to camp on Thursday. And we can't believe it. They're going to have so much fun. I'm so excited for them. I'm going on Sunday to help. I just didn't think my body could sleep in those beds. I have enough trouble sleeping in my bed. With the sciatica, it is not fun. And it is not for sissies either. It uh, interrupts my sleep more than not. Okay, well, the words today are peace, be still. And so I shared a song by Hope Darst called Peace, Be Still. And uh, we're going to do some scriptures about it. Uh, this song reminds me of the story of Jesus when he was in the ship with the apostles and the storm came and they were all scared and they woke him up and he goes peace be still and the storms and the winds and the rains ceased because that's how powerful Jesus is he is very powerful all right well hey my friend Josie my friend Josie's here I have a peppermint in my mouth Mm, supper just did not set well with my stomach, so that's what I do when things don't set well with my stomach. I have a peppermint. And water. And it helps. Okay, well let's jump into some prayer, okay? God, we just come to you because we know that you will will be with us in the storm, God. That we are never alone. You are on your throne and you are in control, God. We thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. We thank you for being our shelter in the storm, for being our strength and our refuge. You are mighty and powerful and magnificent, God. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness, God. You are loving and kind and compassionate and forgiving. You are faithful, God. You care about everything in our lives, God. You want us to come as we are. Thank you for calling us as your children, God. Thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray for um, the lost. We just pray that you would um, open their eyes and their ears to truth, to the truth, and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We pray for them to see where they are. To return and repent and have their relationship reconciled with you. God, we just pray for all the disasters, all the many things that are going on, the wars, the rumors of wars, just all of them, God. So many sinkholes in different places, God. We just pray that you would be with these people, that you would meet their needs, God. We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. And I have an unspoken request, God. I just pray for that. And pray for a good outcome. God, we pray for camp. We pray for youth camp as these kids go to youth camp in two days, God. We just pray for safety there and back. And we pray for safety on the campgrounds, God. We just pray that you would open their hearts and their minds to what you want to teach them. That you would open our hearts and our minds as leaders to what you want to teach us also. That you would be with these people that are putting this camp on, God. That you would just 
um, give them the strength and the endurance to get it done and get it done for your glory. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Well, I'm going to read first what I just got through writing this while ago. And I'm sorry, I'm sleepy. I don't know why I'm so sleepy, but I am. I took my vitamins today. I took allergy medicine today. And it always makes me sleepy. Let's see where this is. I didn't find it. Usually I find it earlier, but I didn't this time. Excuse me. Okay, so these are my words today. Peace be still. These are the words that I woke up with this morning. I love this song and message by Hope Darst. I love the lyrics of this song. The song reminds me of the story of Jesus sleeping in the boat in the middle of a storm. And the apostles did not know what to do, so they woke him up and, said, and he said, Peace. The waves and the wind do what he says. God wants us to have peace and be still in our peace, to trust him fully, not to doubt that he, that he hears our prayers and he is working all things out for his glory and our good. Trust Jesus today and call upon his name and be saved. Come out of the storm and into the peace of the Prince of Peace. Come as you are. That is just how he wants you to come. No other way but as you are. He will make the desires of your heart change. He will give you peace to walk every day with him. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3:16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. So that's what I wrote today. And then I wanted to read the story. Um, which I guess is in Mark. Mark 4. You may just read the whole thing. So I've got some music going on tonight. I'm listening to Wait on the Lord. I think that kind of goes with this. Sometimes we have to wait on the Lord. We don't like waiting, but sometimes we do. Sometimes God's working out all the details. Okay, I'm going to read. Let's see, where does this start? Okay, so Jesus was preaching the parable of the sower, and he was explaining the parable of the sower, and then um, it says, and with m many such parables spake he the word unto them as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. In the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with them other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, and so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, sleeping on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, 
What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? So that was just kind of a, a faith building time for his apostles that they saw the power that Jesus had that he can speak to the waves and he can speak to the wind and he can calm them just with three words peace be still he didn't have to do some long long lecture he said peace be still everything was stilled everything ceased you know that is power that is powerful and that is who Jesus is he is powerful so let's see if we can find something else one on the other side I think let's read let's read second Corinthians 13 11. Okay, 2 Corinthians 13, 11 say, say, finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Greet one another with an holy kiss. All the saints salute you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. So we are to be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, like be in unity. We are to be in unity. We are to live in peace, like not be slanderous, not be saying things, not be lying about each other. We are to live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. Okay. Let's read Second Th Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians three sixteen. Three sixteen. It says, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. So the Lord of peace, that's Jesus. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So this is saying that he is the Lord of peace. Give us peace always. By all means, the Lord be with you all. So let's read John 14. And I think this is going to be the last one that I see that really fits. It may not be on here for very long. All of a sudden, I'm, my allergy medicine has made me awfully sleepy. 1427. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid ye have heard now I said unto you I go away and come again unto you if ye loved me you would rejoice because I said I go unto my father for my father is greater than I and now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass ye might believe 
Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gaveth me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. So Jesus leaves us with peace. So we're still supposed to have that peace. I think that in this world, a lot of things steal our peace. Um, just circumstances in the world make us not feel at peace, make us feel anxious, make us feel worried, make us feel angry, make us feel uh, not content, make us feel hmm, unpeaceful. <laughs> And peaceful is the opposite of peaceful. Just make us feel different ways, like we miss out on love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control because of things that are going on in the world that interrupt our peace. We have peace interrupters. Sometimes it's people. Sometimes it's circumstances. Sometimes it's things that we hear that are going on in the world and in our country that steal our peace. But we need to hang on to our peace. It is precious. And it doesn't come from this world. It comes from Jesus. He is the Prince of Peace. So we need to hang on to our peace and not let the world have our peace. To always hang on to our peace. Okay, that's all the scriptures that I have. I may not read all of my quiet time. Sometimes quiet time is personal. And so sometimes I just don't even read it. I didn't read it last night because I needed to get off of here and do something. And I couldn't do both because I needed to do it on my phone. My day was good, Josie. How was yours? So this is what God had to say today. He said, Child, many things that I shared with you are coming to pass quickly. So be ready and be prepared. I am sending warnings to all of my children to be prepared for things to come. I only know how this battle will end. It is in my word. Is it time? Question mark is your question. I think you see all the signs coming to pass, child. So yes, the time is soon, but not yet, but soon. Until that glorious moment, be prepared for possible hard times before Jesus comes. Not like the tribulation, but hard times. A time to pull away from the things of the world and focus back on me. A final cleansing of the bride of Christ. Do not worry about these days, for they are short. And at the end of them, Jesus will come and get my children. Share with others to be ready. In the meantime, keep walking with Jesus in the Spirit. Seek peace in all things. Share about peace and what a comfort it is to have people need to seek peace instead of confrontation. But, but my children, too, must stand for my truths and protect their children in their beliefs of my word. My word never changes because it is my truths. Evil is rampant, child, so always be aware and rely on the Holy Spirit for discernment. You are learning to be more aware of your surroundings. I said thank you, God, for meeting me today and sharing with me what I need to be ready for. Help me to reorganize things, God, and to be wise also about my presentation, my preparations, too. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug. I love you, too, my child. Now go be obedient to me. Get ready and do your job. I am taking care of things on the other side. Walk in peace, child. Walk in peace. 
all will work out according to my plans and purposes of all things people too the reunion is soon child so be ready it is perfect peace love joy surrounded by beauty and light and I said Maranatha God it's going to be awesome heaven's going to be awesome it's going to be so much better you know if you think that this world is all there is to offer God has to offer so much more heaven is going to be so much more than the very best day on this earth it is going to be so much more okay how do we want to do salvation tonight Let's see if I can read this little bitty thing. It's kind of hard to read. It's so tiny. This is so tiny. But it's pretty cool. It says keys to life. I don't know if it can be read down there. Okay, keys to life. God loves you and has a great plan for your life. Jesus said, My purpose is to give life in all its fullness. John 10.10 10. Sin separates you from God. We are all sinners. Romans 3.23 Romans 3.23 The price of sin, of sin is death. Romans 6.23 The price is already paid. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Romans 5, 8. Jesus bridged the gap, separation between God and man. It's free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8-9. You don't earn to work your way to heaven by morality or religion. Jesus is the key to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. It's all up to you to ask Jesus into your heart. Pray this. Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. It is important to be baptized, go to church, oh, in Jesus' name I pray. This prayer doesn't end. In Jesus' name I pray. It is important to be baptized, go to church, pray, read your Bible, and share with others what Jesus has done for you. And this is a gospel key tag mini. And it is very mini. But it's pretty cool because it has all these scriptures too. All these are scriptures. And then on the back, they're all scriptures too. I think I got this at YEC in one of the bags, and I just found it the other day. So if you said that prayer and you invited Jesus into your heart, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing in heaven, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So, as it said, read God's word, pray and praise, and be baptized. Uh, pray for God to, send, to find you a church where you can be part, you can be, uh, you can have a church family that you can study with, you can worship with, and you can learn more about God with. Okay, I don't, I am so sleepy. I don't know why I'm so sleepy right now. I apologize. Coming on here to take a nap was not my plan, but I think I've done everything that God asked me to do. I haven't even been on here for 30 minutes, so I feel a bit guilty. 
that I did scripture I shared that I shared this okay we're going to do a blessing from God and we're going to do another prayer and then I'm going to get off of here it's kind of been a it's been a spiritually taxing day um, I ran across these women that came to our our church for help and I ended pray, ended up praying with them and spending some time with them today and as I prayed for them the Holy Spirit took over and I didn't even know what I was saying the Holy Spirit was speaking through me so I think maybe I'm spiritually tired today but it was a really exciting moment and I feel an attachment to these ladies that a sisterly kindred and uh, I think that I'm going to start a Sunday school class with them at my church I think they're the students that I've been praying for God to send me and hopefully more hopefully I'll have more like them but I think they're thirsty and hungry for God's Word and I think they need the loving compassion of Jesus that maybe others haven't shown them in their lives I think they've strayed away from God and I think God is pulling them back because whether y'all realize it or not time is getting just shorter and shorter all the time we are getting so close to Jesus coming to get us and we need to be ready we need to have our hearts ready we need to have our oil and have our lamps trimmed and waiting for him we don't need to be like the five foolish virgins that had to go off and buy oil we need to be ready we need to have our hearts ready we need to have our hearts cleansed we need to be ready to go and if we go through some things like no electricity and stuff like that we need candles we need to we we need batteries we need to be ready for that too because there there may be some days like that I don't know this uh, country is I've never seen well yeah I have when Carter was president we had gas lines we had we had a failed economy then we are headed for another failed economy so we just need to pray for our country we need to pray for our leaders to do what's right for the people and not to do what they want to do but do what's right for the people that they work for us we are their bosses we elect them and we pay taxes to pay them and so they need to do what we want them to do and I'm not seeing a lot of that right now but we just need to be ready I was gonna God wanted me to show you something I hope I can find it oh, that's the wrong one Okay, so everything falls. So normally, when I get an electric bill, I'm not going to show you my electric bill. On the second page of the electric bill, it says, do you want to go paperless? So they, they put a whole piece of paper to ask us if we want to go paperless. Well, this is what they sent me this time wanting to know if anybody in my family has a chronic health condition that can't live without electricity so this is why I'm getting ready I'm getting ready get batteries get candles 
because I don't know why they would send this unless this was their plan and they're covering themselves in case they get sued. But I don't ever look at this, but I happened to look at it this time. And I was just a little bit appalled that I guess I'm glad they're doing it because there are people that cannot survive without electricity because they do have life so support equipment. And they have oxygen and other things that they have to do to support their life. But I think that's what, what it means for us is that if we don't, we may be spending some time without electricity. So be ready, be ready. This was attached to my bill for uh, this month. So God wanted me to share that with people to be ready in case we have a period of no electricity, have a backup way of cooking food, have some food where you can just put hot water or cold water, you know, if you don't have hot water. I know water heaters will keep your water hot for a while without electricity. But then after a day or so, it's not hot anymore. But anyway, I didn't, God wanted me to give everybody a heads up. He asked me to do that. He asked me to share with others. And so whatever he asked me to do, I try to do. And um, it's not meant to scare anybody because we don't need to worry. We need to be at peace. We need to remember the peace be still moment where Jesus quieted the storm and the waves and the wind. That's that same Jesus we walk with every day. So he is going to take care of us. But we do need to be ready, just in case, you know, nothing may happen. You may have some extra batteries in your house, and you may not ever have to go buy batteries for flashlights again. You know, that wouldn't be so bad. But just be ready for Jesus, and be ready for some hard times if we have some hard times. I've started uh, buying some extra canned goods. I don't even like canned canned vegetables or canned anything anymore. I like it frozen. But if my freezer's not working, I'm not going to have any way of keeping it fresh. So anyway, okay. I need to do the blessing. I shut my Bible and I didn't do the blessing. So let me do the blessing now. Number 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And always know, always know that God is in control. God is in control and he's going to take care of us. So we don't need to worry. We just need to be aware. It's always good to be aware of what's going on. My prayer is that all rights will be, all wrongs will be righted soon. And um, can maybe get things back to more normal than they are now. Of course, 2020 was not normal at all. It wasn't a normal year at all, but we are, we are hearing the truth about that, truth that many of us already knew, but weren't allowed to talk about. All right, well, I can't say much more or I will, my video will get taken down. All right, so let's pray. So Josie, do you have any prayer requests? Um, 
just gonna she usually says pray for everyone so I'm gonna pray for everyone I know who to pray for all right we're just gonna go to God in prayer God we just thank you we thank you for all the many blessings that you give us God we thank you for that peace that peace that passes all understanding we just don't understand sometimes why how we can feel peace in the midst of a storm God but you give us that peace that is a gift from you that we can have peace even when things are falling apart God we can still have peace and we can still trust in you we know that Jesus can still the storms we know that Jesus has the power God, we just pray. We just pray for, I pray for Mike and the boys, God. I just pray that you would be with them, that you would give them peace, God, that you would give them a peace, that if Josie is still sick, God, heal her body. If not, give her peace. Let us all have peace. Let us seek your peace tonight, God. I pray for peace for her family members too, for her brothers and their families, for her sister and their families, for her children, for her grandchildren, God. Peace, a peace just knowing and trusting that you are who you are and that you love us and that all things are for your glory and for our good. God, we just pray. We pray for, um, I pray for my family too. Much of my family is traveling to Fort Worth right now. God, I just pray for traveling mercies for them to Fort Worth and back, that they would have a nice celebration, God. And that Seth and I are just as happy to stay home as to go. God, we just, uh, we praise you, God. We see where we are. We can read Matthew 24, and we know what Jesus said about where what would happen and we see that everything that Jesus talked about in Matthew 24 is happening right now God and so we know that the time is close God help us be prepared for the hard times if they come God help us to do what you've asked us to do help us to have our hearts prepared for when Jesus comes Help us to cleanse our hearts of all the things, God, that disgust you about us. God, we just praise you and thank you. We pray for more boldness to go out and to speak of the things that you've done in our lives, God. To rest in your presence, God. And to encourage others in what we share. I thank you for my divine encounter today, God. I thank you for that. I know that something is going to grow out of that, God, that that was just a beginning. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. Yeah, I know. So no news? No news yet? I'm going to call you in a little bit, okay? Can I call you in a little bit? I've been praying about that. I didn't know. Um, okay. I'll call you in a little bit, if that's okay. That's my unspoken request. All right, well, pray and share, warriors. Have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow's youth. The next day is youth camp. Uh, so please pray for our youth and our youth camp, um, our students and our leaders and the people that are putting the camp on.
Okay. Much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.